Hello, what's up guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of the FIFA review series that we started. Obviously, the first one we've done of FIFA 22 was the one on Player of the Month CR7 and Player of the Month Kareem Benzema. And now, we are going to be taking a look at two players, one of which I have completed, and the other I am thinking of completing. Um, but I just don't know since I have my RTG if he's necessarily the best for me and I want to put all my fodder and coins into him yet. But the first one we're going to be reviewing is going to be Nabil Fekir. Now, this card is absolutely unreal. He is so good. I use it myself, so I've, I haven't even like figured like say on this card. He's four star, four star, as you can see. He's got good pace. Sprint speed is a little bit low, but with an engine it goes up, it's fine. Shooting is very good. Passing is class. Dribbling is very, very good. It does not feel like he has 84 agility, by the way. Um, even though he has 89 technically with the, the engine, it does not feel. It feels like he has like 95 something agility. Defending, obviously, no. But his physical stats are another thing that's good. He has strength too. And with a lot of like decent cams this year, like I know one that I've been using has been Lorenzo Insigne. And he has just Lorenzo Insigne is very good, but the strength lets him down. It lets and the finishing aspect is not necessarily the best you want to see. Um so yeah, the same thing with Pedro as well. The strength isn't there that card was released even though they're wingers i know they're left mids they're more of a cam in my opinion not they're nowhere near as good as this card he's insane and he is only around 90k that's the thing this card is only around 90k 86 rated squad and 83 with the team of the week honestly i have to say 100 percent this card is worth it. He is... I, I can't, like, explain it even more. Um, In-game, the best spots that you would want to play this card, or at... Oh, or at... Are at attacking mid or striker. Attacking mid, preferably, though. Um, again, I think Kareem Benzema's out still. I am not completely sure on that, but if he is, this Fakir Kareem Benzema link is perfect. And if you have Kamavinga, you got yourself a very good trio right there very very good trio now weak points in this card if we take a look obviously there's not a lot of them the, the only ones i've said are jumping heady accuracy obviously if that was a little bit better it would be okay but honestly it doesn't really matter um the low points are his sprint speed and his agility reactions a bit low a stamina could be a little bit more but Again, I'm saying they're low. They're not that low. Every, everything I'm mentioning here, besides the jumping head accuracy, is above 80, which is still very, very good. It's just not, you know, 90 plus, 85 plus. So, yeah, that's the first card we're going to be talking about. And, yeah, I would 100% recommend completing that Nabil Fakir card. Now, on to the second one. And the second one is going to be a card that is very, very good from first glance. And it is Matthias Delict. And we will be taking a look at Verts in this video too. Um, as you can see, two star skill moves, three star weak foot, it's a center bat, doesn't matter, six two. Decent pace, he's got good short passing, which is pretty much all you need. I mean, long passing could be a bit better, but short passing is pretty much what you need from a center back. Dribbling, agility and balance, it does matter, but not necessarily for center backs. Reactions and composure is very good to get out from the back with those passes. Then we have defending. Um, obviously, defending physical stats are going to be good. Now, I want to complete this card. I just I'm, I'm, I keep holding back just a bit because I don't know if I want to save my fodder or not. And the one thing that keeps me making me want to try and complete this card is the fact you bear top of the group. I can see them winning three out of the four next matches in their um, in their group, and I can see them getting through their group. So technically, if that was the case, this delete card will go up to an 89 rating with 
probably about 81 pace passing everything in that car to be upgraded and for the price he is he is only around 95k i think he actually might be a little bit cheaper than that now it's an 85 rated squad 84 83 and 82 keep in mind no team of the weeks are required and as you know fodder is just so low at the moment and then we have a gold squad and a rare gold squad. So very, very, very decent and easy SBC requirements. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say for that card. All in all, I really do think he's worth it. Um, just, I just, I don't know. Again, while I'm saying I'm not completing him yet, I still might do it. But I'm just not completely sure if I want to yet with my RTG in that kind of situation. Um, but... Now we are moving on to Vert. We haven't reviewed him yet on the channel. He's been out for a bit, as well as the lit. Wow, that rhyme. He is four star, four star. Um, and this is a card I again I can have a bigger say on. Same with the same thing with the lit. I've seen the lit in game and he's, he's good. Him and Cool Bali are very good. Again, actually moving on to the lit again. If you have Cool Bali, that's a good lit. With Shed's knee neck. There you go. Um, but then Vert. Um, I've seen gameplay of Vert and is very very good very good again this is one of the cards i was talking about kind of related to that insigne and pedro um where he doesn't have the sprint speed he has the acceleration but he doesn't have the sprint speed now this card is relatively cheap i'm pretty sure he's around 60k to complete he is an 84 and an 85 rated squad as you can see there four star four star but it's the definition of a card that is probably going to lose its meta acknowledgement pretty soon because he's just not quick enough. Um, if this card had 85 plus pace, yes. With more sprint speed, yes. I feel like he'd be better. But he's good right now. I think he could be good for like another month in the game. But yeah, once it kind of wears down a little bit, not wears down, and the game becomes more developed, people get better teams, this car's not going to be quick enough, and he has that strength factor issue with only 59. Now, don't get me wrong, dribbling agility mounts is very good. Passing is obviously amazing. Composure and finishing is class. Time positioning, shot power is a little bit low. Reaction 73. Uh, but I think currently at this stage, with this market, um, if you were to spend about Again, 60k to complete this card. You could already have the fodder in your club for rewards and all that kind of stuff. This card, I don't think, would be necessarily too badly worth it. I think he would be worth it just to have in your club. Um, and at the end of the day, if you don't put him in an SBC, um, when the game progresses a little bit, you have him for objectives, which would be very, very good. A very useful and good card to have for objectives. So that is the plus with Verts. Um, obviously, good nation links, good league links um bundesliga this year is a very very popular league with the defensive i think quadruple like the, the four or the five actually technically if you include the keeper with castiles and babu um opamecano lacroix and alfonso davies um akanji as well klosterman so many bundesliga center backs um and then you can just link that burts in in like a cdm spot in a certain formation that he will make good at um, so that's another thing with that first card. Very, very good with links. Um, and yeah, that's the only other card we're going to be talking about in this video. Um, Gustil is about to expire. I went over him, but not like in one of these videos. So I guess I'll quickly go over him. There's two days left. I mean, go ahead and complete him. He's like 10k. Just go complete him for objectives, honestly. I know he's an age rated in squad, but don't be like worried about it. He's so cheap. Um, I haven't done him yet. I'm going to do him, though, just because it's very, very good for objectives and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so a lot went over in that video in a very short amount of time. Um, but yeah, I, I like that they're... Honestly, the fun thing about FIFA this year is that even though the market is just absolutely done... Um, it makes SBCs in these cards very, very easy to get, which at the same time, if you, if you think about it, it's kind of not insanely good for the game and gameplay because everyone's going to have insanely good teams. I mean, to be fair, it was the same last year. Everyone had insanely good teams by this point, a month into the game. Um, 
but yeah um that's gonna be it for this one if you did enjoy please leave a like comment and let me know if you want to see another one of these well we will see another one of these um i kind of like to let the cards kind of stock up um get a few days on their belt so i can have like a bunch of cards to go over in one video um but yeah if you did enjoy leave a like comment and i'll catch you in the next one very soon i'll see you then